Tomorrow, a brand new version of WordPress is coming out. And in this video, I'm going to try to get you prepared for this brand new release because it's going to change some things. It's going to make some things easier. It's going to change your workflow and other things. It's going to enable some things that weren't possible before. So this is the video where we go all over it and get prepared and ready. This is going to be WordPress 5.7, if that matters to you. This is going to be the new about screen where it's going to go over all of these new things that are coming. However, that's the point of watching this video because I'm going to go over all of them. Since many of these changes are in Gutenberg, which is the WordPress block builder, I just need to quickly put a WordPress Gutenberg based website template on this site. I'm going to use the free cadence starter templates. It's free. You can use the cadence theme, theme and access these templates. So I'm going to go to appearance and then starter templates. This is just going to take a minute so we've got these ones here I like this one I'll click on it uh, we can customize out the colors some actually here I'll just go with the default colors we can also change the topography if we wanted this looks pretty cool I'll click on full site I'll click on start importing and in just 30 seconds or so I'll have a complete website built that's going to look just like this and I'll be using Gutenberg and we've already customized the colors and the topography a little bit all right let's take a quick look at the website here we go looks pretty good to me I like the way this looks I have my custom topography in there now we can get started taking a look at these Gutenberg changes just a quick public service announcement in this video you got to start taking Gutenberg seriously if you're not already there is big news coming from Google as it relates to how fast and how optimized your website is and basically the long and short story is if you are not having a speed optimized website as well as other performance improvements by May you might be screwed if Google search engine rankings matter to you yes I have proof to back this up here is an an article on search engine journal and it basically says this new thing called well it's not new core web vitals came out in 2020 late 2020 but it's saying if you do not meet these core web vitals you will not get a ranking boost for your website this is the first time they've been so stern on this yes this type of stuff right here where you pop it into Google page speed insights and your URLs in there and you get these things if you're not in the green you are officially potentially screwed sorry to break the news to you but it's just the reality now it's a lot easier to hit these core web vitals when you're just using the WordPress block builder versus a traditional page builder that loads a bunch of stuff that you really don't need and then you can make the matter a whole lot worse when you start adding in all of these add-ons to your website so this is serious stuff I'm gonna cover it a lot more this month but I only bring this up right now to show you how important it is to pay attention to this big change that's coming out in May it's right around the corner and you should really consider giving the WordPress block builder a serious try so there's a few changes to the WordPress block builder that are going to put it in page builder territory now before this new version of WordPress when you wanted to add a block to your page you had two ways of doing it you could scroll down to the bottom of your page and click on the plus right here but if you want something up higher doesn't quite work like that or you could scroll up and say click into an entire row like this click on the three dots and there was this option to insert before or after but what's coming is drag and drop which hasn't been here for the WordPress block editor if you could believe that or not now when I click on the plus here on the left anything that I want to add I can literally just drag and drop it where I want it so for example if I wanted to say add a button I know there's a button here but if I wanted to add a button I can literally drag and drop it and let go and then there's my button and I can go ahead and start styling it cadence theme actually makes this uh, really easy when you click on it right here and you go to the settings you can say inherit the theme style and there it is you can start configuring your button this is a big deal you have true drag and drop finally with the WordPress block editor you can literally just drag and drop anything and let go where you want it 
I know this sounds like something we're used to with normal page builders, but now we're finally getting this usage, makes it so much easier to use feature inside of WordPress. Another change is they've added topography, customization size options to more of the default blocks that come with WordPress. For example, if I want to look at the list block right there and I wanted to say drag that right there and start entering in something, you can see I have the topography options right here, which is the font size and you can put a custom value in if you wanted to do that. Next, there's also some minor improvements to the social icons block. It's a default block. So when I click on the plus and type in social like this, this, we'll see it right here and I'll go ahead and drag and drop that right there. Now when I click on the block we have these options have been here a while these different style options and here's some as well for like a pill size logo only whatever we have those there which is fine but now we also have this size option right here and so we can have it be smaller or larger or whatever you want it's a minor improvement. Next we also have a minor improvement to the default button block. I don't end up using Using that, I use the one that comes in cadence blocks. I like the style better and there's some additional features and control, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. And so here it is, the default button block. I'll drag and drop that here. And it's actually kind of minor what we're getting. So right now, by default, you would have this option to have side-by-side -side buttons, but instead you can choose to make them stack. And this is the new enhancement. So now let me show you how to stack these buttons and instead of having them in line like this. So right here, I'm selecting an individual button. And the way you know that is down here, it shows us the nesting. So we can see that there's a row and a section of buttons and then buttons. So if I want to change the layout of the buttons, I need to just go up a layer and click right here where it says buttons. And now you can see all my buttons here are highlighted. And then if you look over here to the right, it says transform to a variation and I can choose a vertical right there if I wanted vertically stacked buttons like this. Lastly, there's an additional enhancement to the cover block, which allows it to go full screen. I don't ever use the cover block, but if you did, there's now a full screen option. So in a nutshell, that is the Gutenberg enhancements, and I really think you should give it a shot. Now, right here is some changes to the default color palette. Now, you're not gonna see them. It's funny, when you see this about, and they have this like slider here, I wonder if this is gonna be a block soon. I would think so. Uh, anyways, I don't see any darn difference differences like it's very subtle so on 5.7 it's just a little darker but when you read here there's a bit of information why there's this slight color change I haven't really noticed it and I don't think you will either however WordPress is always trying to pursue better accessibility for the admin area and that I think is their guiding principle and you can see right here it's for the WCAG recommended contract ratio and so anyways one thing you'll notice though when you hover over your icons here you can really see that blue but if you see there's kind of a little blue bar off to the left it's very hard to see especially in the video but as you hover over that blue bar is there I don't remember is that always been there I really don't think so and I would have noticed if it was let me know in the comment section below if that little blue bar has always been there or if that blue bar is something that's new New. Next is something that is going to maybe make a certain plugin irrelevant. There's a plugin called Really Simple SSL, and what it does is it flips your WordPress site to load on SSL, HTTPS, and it makes some edits to your content, but now it's how it should be, built into WordPress. Now, I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate this, but what's gonna happen is, if you install WordPress and it's not using HTTPS, you will get a site health warning. And here's kind of a little image of what it's gonna look like right here. And literally you can click a button and what's gonna happen is, well, first it's going to detect if you're on HTTPS right here. And then one click migration to HTTPS. And what it's also gonna do is update the URLs on your website. Now, this isn't as 
urgent as it might have been in the past because most web ho hosts are automatically going to put SSL on for you and they're automatically going to change the URL to HTTPS the moment you install WordPress. But it's nice to know that this is now built into WordPress and there it is, the button. When it recognizes it, one little button press and it's going to switch it all over. Sorry, really simple SSL. I think this is going to be the default way to get that done. Next is going to be something really nice for people that have people, users, log into the website. So this is going to be for e-commerce websites, online course websites, any kind of website where people log in. And it's funny, I just got a support ticket the other day saying I can't reset my password. So let me show you a new workflow for resetting passwords that's coming. So I'm going to go to users now. I'm the only user on this site. So say I had 100 users. I find the user. It's in the list of you. And I want to help this user reset their password. Well, I can check the box here. And underneath bulk actions, I can go right here where it says send password reset. Click on apply. And that user you can see the emails right here. They're going to receive an email to reset their password. This should make some things much easier if you have a website where people have to log in. Now, there's only two more things. One of them is super important and one is not really that important, but it's good for performance. So right here, by default now, there's going to be lazy loading of iframes. So this will help your performance of your website. Lastly, is very important this last little bit and that it was saying right here on the screen ongoing cleanup of jQuery now I know that's a really technical bit what the heck is jQuery and all this kind of stuff that's what you have me here for now what ended up happening two WordPress updates ago they started this jQuery migration and what ended up happening is all sorts of websites started having mysterious random issues and it was related to this and there was one foolproof way to make your website work as you expected it to work again and a lot of this was due to plugin and theme creators that pretty, pretty much weren't on the ball as far as testing their product against the WordPress update that was coming out let me show you a little bit more info and what to do if this happens to you so here it is ongoing cleanup after update to jQuery 3.5.1. Basically, this means mysterious things might go wrong on your website. And this is what you need to do in order to have that not be the case is in install and activate this plugin. It's named Enable jQuery Migrate Helper. Sorry, it's super technical, but if you're using WordPress themes and plugins that don't get updates or the developers abandoned it or anything like that, there's a good chance you're going to have a problem and you're going to have to put this in. As in fact, this is on like over 200,000 websites and it just came out a few months ago. It was probably WordPress 5.5. So lots of people had issues. And this is what you have to do to get rid of those issues until your theme and plugin author can fix the issues in their products. And that's the big stuff that's coming tomorrow. Me, for one, I'm very excited about the improvements to the block builder. In fact, I am so terrified of this web core vitals coming out in May that you now it's public information from Google that if your website, it doesn't have this dialed in, you are going to lose out if there was an apples to apples comparison from another website, but they were hitting the core vitals, they're going to just rank higher than you. Website search engine traffic matters to me. My website, I'm officially leaving page builders behind and I'm going Gutenberg only. I've been working on rebuilding my website behind the scenes and it's a lot of work, unfortunately, because I did a lot of things wrong uh, with it and it's hard to get away from some things, but I'm totally going the no page builder route on my own WP Crafter website 
and I am taking the WebCore Vital Ultimatum, so I guess you can call it, I'm taking it dead seriously, and I think you should too. Don't worry if you want to continue using a page builder, you're just going to have to put in more work with using different tools to speed optimize your website, and it's not as simple as slapping a caching plugin on. You're going to have to put things in there to not load certain assets, getting real technical, right? Um, there's all kinds of things that you're going to end up having to do in order to get it working and meeting the standards of these web core vitals. So that's it for this video. Thank for thank you for watching. If you have questions, ask down below. Can you help me out? Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd like to see you around. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.